So today, I want to talk about tone. In all the years that I've been playing guitar, or that I own a recording studio, or I've been working at a guitar store, or I've been guitar teching out on the road, I never met a guitar player who wasn't searching or hunting for tone. I think it's in our DNA as guitar players. I think the tone that we're searching for is defined by our influences or the music that we listen to, the guitar players that we like. Or also how our ear responds to certain frequencies. So I consider tone to be highly individual, highly personal. But I still want to share a couple of the things that have brought me closer to the tone that I have in my head. And maybe they help you come closer to the tone that you're searching for. So the things that I want to speak about don't have anything to do with uh, expensive or vintage or uh, basically big amounts of money that need to be spent. Yeah, I think a lot of it starts with this. It starts with the guitar. And there are a couple of things that can be done or tried to change the tone. So, welcome to Check One Two Riffs and Gear. My name is Ian, and today I'm going to share a couple of my tone secrets that brought me closer to the tone that I'm looking for. Okay, so just to mention it again, the things that I want to speak about are things to try. I think that we as guitar players, we sometimes settle for things and then basically go by the rule, never change a running system. While I think that trying things again and again and again um, actually help you come closer to the tone that you're looking for, because I have made the experience that what hasn't worked for me in the past might work for me a couple of years later. So what I wanna encourage you to do is try a couple of things and see where they take you and whether you might like them or not. So my tone tip number one, the first thing I wanna speak about is about the guitar pickups, but not replacing them. It's basically about adjusting the height of the guitar pickup. Now, when we speak about adjusting the height of the guitar pickup, I speak about the distance between your strings and the actual pickup. Um, adjusting this has a massive impact on the tone and a massive impact on the way that your pickups respond to your guitar. So before changing or swapping pickups and going for aftermarket pickups, try adjusting the height or the distance between the pickup and the string. Sometimes the results are quite counterintuitive, also depending on the pickup but actually dialing in each pickup on each guitar individually and really listening to the differences in tone um, made a big difference for me. So try and experiment with that before going for aftermarket pickups because it might already be that the tone you're looking for is in your guitar and in your pickups. It's just about adjusting and it's just about setting up your guitar. The next thing I want to speak about is strings and string gauges. Um, now, I think there's a couple of videos out on YouTube that already discuss uh, string gauges and lighter strings sound better or whatnot. 
I don't want to pick a side here really, but what I want to encourage you to do is try out different strings. Uh, and basically try out different string gauges. So for many years I've been playing relatively heavy strings. I've been playing 11 to 52s or sometimes even 11 to 56 depending on the tuning. And I was quite happy with that. Um, but now I actually changed back to a lot lighter strings. So I'm now playing 10 to 48s or something or sometimes even 9s depending on the scale length. And just changing the string gauges or basically trying another string gauge even though I was settled for quite some time um, brought me closer to the tone that I enjoy today. Changing the string gauge might do something to your tone that you're going to enjoy. So even though you think you're settled, even though you think you found the strings that always work for you, every once in a while try something different. It's not expensive. Uh, if you don't like it, you can throw it out, but give it some time. I think it'll do good, and I think it will uh, take you somewhere where maybe you need to be. And the same thing in my next tone aspect is guitar picks. So for many, many years, I played 1.14, then I played one millimeter picks, and currently, actually, I'm enjoying 0.73. And as you can see here, I even had picks with my name made um, in a certain strength and currently I'm not using them because I do enjoy a different pick. Now this is not only about playing and the feel that a pick gives me or gives you, it's also about the tone. A different pick and a di different thickness of a pick is going to give you a different sustain, it's going to give you a different attack. So depending on what you're looking for in tone, experiment with your guitar picks. It changes something, it has an effect, and maybe it takes you closer to where you need to be. This is the next thing that I want to speak about. So this is a treble bleed circuit. You can watch a million of videos uh, on YouTube on how to use them. Basically what you do is you put them on your volume pot uh, in your guitar. Uh, it costs a couple cents, so it's not very expensive. But you put them on your volume pod and what happens is that a couple of the frequencies, even when rolling back the volume knob, um, are basically put through. So you have treble bleeding through even when you roll back the volume pod. What this does is basically it allows you to use your electronics more um, while sometimes even cheaper guitars, or especially in cheaper guitars, um, rolling back the volume also comes with a, a loss of uh, presence or a loss of treble and a loss of the frequencies that you actually need when you're rolling back uh, the volume pod. This will help you to actually keep those frequencies in the signal. And what it helped me to do was use my electronics more, which opened up a whole new spectrum of tone, of dynamics in my guitar playing. And I recommend trying these, they are not very expensive, like I said, a couple of cents, but it does make a difference, and in most guitars they don't come stock, so uh, consider checking that out. And then last but not least, a buffer. So this is something that you would have to buy, and I know that the debates are big about whether this actually ruins the sound or helps with the sound. So I do enjoy a good buffer. Um, I like what it does to the signal. Um, I feel like you actually get all of the guitar's tone to arrive at your amplifier, um, which is something that I do really enjoy. And um, I think it's something that helps or has helped me in the past uh, with my tone and with the tone that I'm looking for. So uh, there is a couple of uh, different manufacturers who make these. This is a pure tone or a visual sound custom shop buffer. I think this is about 80 bucks or something, so it's not crazily expensive. It will not alter your sound in my opinion. It will basically just make sure that all of the richness that your guitar puts out and all of the wood that's happening here and all of the uh, the sound that the pickups create um, actually arrive at your amplifier. Um, so check out buffers, uh, see what it does, see if you like it, get one used, it'll be only uh, a, couple, a couple of bucks and uh, you'll see what it does and whether it changes uh, your tone to your liking. Those were my tone tips. 
Um, if you have other tips or things that you've tried and that actually made a difference for you, please leave a comment down below because I'd really like to hear, I wanna try what you have experienced and see what kind of difference it makes for me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, ring the bell and give me a thumbs up. It'll really help me uh, make those videos and it'll help me uh, get found by other guitar players. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching. My name is Ian. This is Check One Two Riffs and Gear and I'm out. Cheers. Oh, sorry, you're still here. I thought the video was sort of over. Well, but since you're still here, you could. Or. Just saying. You could. You could. Well, you really could. You, you don't have to. You could.